We got Vince Morales back here on the program. He's going to be making his UFC debut against Yadong Song at UFC Fight Night 141 in Beijing on November 24th. Vince, how are you, man? I'm doing great. Better better than I have been for a very long time. I bet, man. Congratulations on getting the UFC contract. When did you find out about this? Because we saw the news posted on social media, but uh, when did you actually find out that this was uh, going to happen? Like a day before I had posted it, actually. Um, I didn't even think it's been a week yet, so the dust still hasn't really settled. <laughs> okay. Who's the first person you told when you found out the news? The uh, very first person was my coach, but he was right there with me when we found out. So first person that wasn't part of the team was... My girlfriend and Invicta fighter, Shino Van Hoos. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, very cool to share that with her. Um, was this something you were expecting after your last fight? Because you never know with the UFC. Sometimes you can have an impressive run, and they they don't call the you know the phone number or anything like that. But uh, was this something that that was a surprise or not? It it was kind of a surprise, but it was a. Uh, I was also putting myself in a position where I felt like this is a this is what had to happen. Is what I felt like. Um, I, I was just about to go back to work and work and working a full-time job again. Um, I was at the end of my funds from fights. I was just, I was literally just training, banking on the fact that maybe there's an oddball chance I'll get a phone, get a call. So I love it. High risk, high reward. Uh, what, what job would you have had to have gone back to, uh, in terms of full-time work? Back to a sales job. Um, it was either going to be back to, I was working at Sprint as an assistant manager. I remember um, we talked about this. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. So no, no, uh, no cubicle for you. Uh, you'll be trading that in for an octagon, I guess. Oh man, I'll take it. Yeah, Any day. exactly. Um, and, and if I'm not mistaken, this is your first time fighting outside of North America as well. Oh yeah. Way to say it like that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, just, just it's, it's kind of, it's kind of interesting just to make your debut and, and have that, uh, you know, on top of that is, you know, be fighting overseas. Uh, to me, I kind of think it's like a perfect storm for me to to ride. Really, I mean, it's I, I'll take it. I love it. I'm all about it. I, and I imagine this is your first time going to Beijing. Yep. Cool. When are you getting there? Uh, we get there the 18th. Okay, nice. And I know sometimes when you do international flights, uh, the UFC isn't so generous about bringing out uh, corners. Uh, you know, to, to to be with you in the cage. Uh, who is going to be cornering you for this fight? Uh, head coach Tony Fricklin. So it's just gonna be me and him. We're just going over the, over there to handle business okay does that does that impact you at all like are you used to having a couple more bodies in there and, and is, does that play a major role in your fights at all and it makes no difference to me really no what about the weight cut though because again this is sort of short notice you're traveling uh, you know we, we hear the stories all the time when you're flying especially you retain a lot of water do you have to alter your weight cut at all for this fight uh, no, I, I don't think so i don't generally walk around much heavier than than the weight class anyways so and I've been training like I've like I had a fight coming. Like I said, I was I was in the gym. We were training like we had a fight. It was basically fight camp stuff. So my weight's low already. I'm I'm not worried about it at all. Okay, that's good to hear. Um, let's talk about your opponent here, Yudong Song. Thirteen and four record. This guy has a lot of hype behind him. How do you feel like you match up against him? I feel like we match up pretty well. I think where he's strong, I'm strong. Um, he might be look. He looks like I don't know how this will play out in the cage, but he looks like he might be physically stronger. Um, which is, is fine for me. I know he's a good prospect. I think it's got me probably, I feel like I'm probably going to be the underdog, which makes sense. Um, but I'm just looking to steal all his, all, all of that from him. So Yeah, and what's the mentality going in here? Because again, this is short notice. You're going into his backyard, so to speak. Um, you know, again, I talked about the hype behind him. Like, it must be kind of like a, you know, I, I, you don't really have much to lose in this fight, whereas he does. I mean, he's supposed to win this fight, right? To a certain degree, this is, he's, uh, he's one of the guys fighting in his hometown. Yeah, um, yeah, that sounds like all the pressure's on him, which I'm fine with. Um, I, a lot of times I prefer being the underdog, um, it, and it, I think it'll look even better that it's going to show short notice, even though I was training like I had a fight. Um, I never really game plan for a, any fighter in particular. I'm just trying to get a better version of me, so that's what we're going to get in there. Are you a guy that looks at the odds when the, when the fight comes out and you know tells your buddies, hey, listen, you can get me a, you know, because it sounds like you will be the underdog. I mean, are you going to message some friends and be like, hey, listen, put some money on me. Uh, you know, I'll, you'll have to buy me dinner, but I'll make you some money too. I might have to do that this time. Yeah, I don't see why not. Um, like I said, I think it's a, it's just a perfect storm for me. And I, in these kind of moments, I feel like is where I shine the best. So. And, and how important is good management? You know, I had the tweet out there last week. You know, this is going to be three Iridium fighters signed to the UFC in the last week. I mean, that's impressive for any management company. I know Jason has really done a good job with you in your career. Yeah, Jason's a man, really. Um, it, it proves in the pudding. I mean, it, it, I, don't, I don't see any other management company out there getting three fighters in in the same week like that, let, let alone the same day, I think. I'm pretty sure we all got announced at the same time. So uh, he, he's doing great. I'm, I'm super pumped to be part of Team Iridium. 
training camp. I, I know this is short notice, but you're always a guy that's in the gym training. Uh, how have you structured things ahead of this matchup? Um, pretty much the, the same as usual. Business as usual, really. Um, we get our strength and conditioning. We get our, our cardio in, and then we get our techniques and drill stuff. Uh, the only thing different this time, um, we're adjusting some of the sparring schedules just because we're trying to cram in a few extra. Normally, in the last three weeks, we're not getting that much sparring. This time, we're trying to double that up a little bit. Okay, that makes sense. Um, what about um, training partners? Who are some of the guys you've been working with ahead of this fight? Uh, main one's, main one's going to be Casey Johnson. I'm hoping I can get my uh, my cousin Ricky Simone to come down just for a little bit. Um, he's That guy's a savage. He, he's, he's the next big thing, I think. So I'm hoping I can get him to come down. Um, but we, we've got a solid team here. We got a, there's a college wrestler, Jacob Hoshino. Uh, he's the man. He's one of my main sparring partners right now. Uh, we've got a few other guys in the gym. It, it's working out real nice. How do you see this fight playing out on the 24th? Um, so every time I think about it, it seems like it's going to be a high-volume, explosive, fast-paced fight until somebody get, gets broken, um, which I, I don't think I'm that guy. So I, it's going to be a good fight. I'm fight of the night, maybe, hopefully. And, and what's been the feedback for you getting signed from the UFC? I'm sure there's a lot of people that have helped you along the way. I'm sure you got a lot of really cool messages. Like, is there anything that really stands out that, you know, maybe someone you haven't heard from in a while being like, hey, man, congratulations? Uh, I've had a lot of that. A lot of that, actually. Um, a lot of the same people that are always there, just even, I think they were even more hyped than I am. I'm trying not to think about it too much until after the fight. I'll celebrate and think all of that after. Um, I can't really consider myself a UFC fighter until I get a UFC win. So, I'm going in there with that mindset and not thinking about much else. The response has been overwhelming, though. I can't even keep up. I'm still having issues keeping up with all the social media comments and messages. And I mentioned the travel. How long is is it is it for you to get there in terms of the flights and everything else? So we fly out from Boise to, I think, San Francisco, which is less than a two-hour flight. And then I think it's like a 12- to 13-hour flight from there. Wow. So okay. A full day. Yeah, it's going to be it'll, – <laughs> it'll be fun. Yeah, no, I'm sure. Now, how do you prepare? Because, you know, the airplanes, uh, you know, it's important. I know sleep's part of that. Um, but uh, are, you, are you downloading any movies? Are you bringing any video games with you, any portable games? And what, what's sort of the game plan for the airplane? I'm doing all that as long as people don't judge me. I got, I'm charging up my Nintendo DS. I'm downloading movies on my phone. We're, I'm going to be set. I'm going to be comfortable the whole time. So Why would anyone judge you about the DS? I mean, what's their problem? Uh, the DS is amazing. I don't know. I don't know. Just haters. <laughs> just because I, I is, is there like the stigma? I guess that adults shouldn't play video games because I I do not subscribe to that whatsoever. I'm I'm the same way. I always bring like a portable system. Yeah, good because anytime brings out anytime anybody brings that up to me, I'm like I'm a professional fighter. I can I do yeah, what I exactly. want. Exactly. <laughs> it's like I, I can do the manly stuff in the cage and you know maybe the nerdy stuff outside of it. What what are uh, what are you playing on DS right now? Uh, what I actually was having a little nostalgia playing uh, uh legend of zelda or Karina oh, time excellent game good choice i like that so i'm digging deep in that one right now <laughs> okay that's good now now in terms of the airplane like do you bring the noise canceling headphones or an airplane pillow anything like that just to make sure you get a proper sleep airplane pillow that's that's the main thing um i am not not too worried about the noise i got i, I grew up with lots of family members there was always noise so, oh, that's so you're, you're a heavy sleeper then you don't need you can have like a you know baby screaming on the plane and you're still good if anything, I prefer some type of noise. I like to sleep with the TV on and stuff. So. Ah, you're one of those guys. See, I'm the opposite. I'm a light sleeper, so my go-to on any long flights, uh, I got to get the Bose noise-canceling headphones. They don't sponsor me, but they do the job. Um, they're a little pricey, but they're they're worth the money. And then the airplane pillows, you know, essential because uh, you never know which seat you're going to get. And if you're in the middle seat, you're kind of screwed. You can't lean up against the wall like on a window. So I, I, I you got to bring those essentials because uh, it's important. You know, you need your sleep on the flight, right? So. We'll see how this goes. I might have to invest in some of those noise canceling. We'll see. There you um, go. I got there you go. Sleep. Exactly. And I want credit if you end up getting them and you get a good sleep. An even better sleep, I should say. But uh, in the meantime, man, we got to uh, check out this fight. November 24th, UFC Fight Night 141. Again, Vince, congratulations. I know it won't sink in until you get that first UFC win, but that's still an accomplishment. Not everyone gets to make the UFC. Uh, just remind people where they can find you on social media. And if you have any sponsors or shout outs, the floor is yours. Gotcha. Um, the best place to get a hold of me is going to be Instagram. Uh, that's at, at Vendetta135, uh, which is also my Twitter handle. You can try me there too. Um, I, it's usually just a bunch of mindless thoughts, but <laughs> that's what Twitter's for. Um, shout out to all my sponsors. Really, Funs Plus has been a giant one for me. Um, Polly, who's working up the shirt design for the new one. Ideal Spine, that's where they take care of me, make sure I'm good to go for the fights. Uh, Oxford Commons, Caesar over there gets me all cleaned up, which I just got done doing. Thank you to him. Uh, feed my fit, keeping me healthy and strong. It's it, there's a whole there's a whole team of people that have just been like a staple for me to make this successful. So thank you to everybody. Uh, let's do this.